Hello everyone, welcome back to Freedom City in uh, Surviving Mars, Below and Beyond. Yeah, uh, okay, so uh, what we've got here is a paused game. Let's, um, let's unpause it. Right, okay, so um, we're getting set up to send our rocket back to Earth so we can collect our one and only rocket full of passengers, colonists, right? Now, it'd be nice if one of these texts down here were the uh, extra uh, passenger capacity for rockets. That's not going to be the case, so I'm not even going to, uh, to worry about that. If I wasn't uh, planning to get uh, colonists on Mars by Sol 15, I would uh, actually work my way down the tech tree and get a bigger rocket uh, before calling the colonists, given the last arc rule. But um, since I am going to go on, go for that that uh, milestone, which uh, the whole thing here, we just need to get the uh, rocket refueled, get it on its way back to Earth before about Sol eight. Um, and if we can do that, then we'll be able to get our um, our uh, colonists here in time. Now, I'm going to need a dome. And uh, that's the sort of thing that uh, we can start getting uh, uh, planned out here. Uh, right, so that's going to be in, in here. And we're going to need a dome. Now, we could go with a basic dome. That only needs concrete for maintenance, but it needs 10 polymers to make it. Uh, this uh, is one of the tutorial things that cannot be got rid of. Uh, anyway, uh, the basic dome requires uh, polymers to build, but it's still only uh, concrete for maintenance. And it has the advantage over a microdome uh, because um, like the basic dome is 20 uh, metal and 80 concrete, right? Um, we're up to 17 concrete already. Here, uh, we need uh, 30 metals and 40 concrete, right? And now it uses half the oxygen and water base and a third of the power. But we can actually get enough power and there's an advantage to going with the basic dome off the start. Uh, and, and that advantage is that we've got six uh, full-size pie wedges. So that gives us a little bit more space to play with compared to the three full-size pie wedges in the microdome. Uh, a barrel dome needs even more polymers uh, and it requires polymer maintenance, right? And we don't want stuff with polymer maintenance at this point. Concrete is fine. We, we are, we're, get, we, we're getting that out of the Martian dirt, right? And we've got, uh, uh, concre we've got concrete right here. And we've got more over here. Okay, what have we got? We got uh, Scan and Anomaly for 250. Uh, we got 1,000 research. And we got uh, Transport Optimization. So that's, that's not too bad. Now, we got the uh, Explorer AI uh, revealed. Bam, we're going to research that a ASAP. Why? Because uh, researching the Explorer AI doubles our science per sol, and uh, that, uh, that's definitely a, a critical thing. Um, uh, that's one of the uh, um, uh, uh, texts I was looking for. Um, okay, now uh, what we want to do also, uh, well, what I want to do is, uh, well, I want to place down my dome. I'm just going to leave things paused while I do this. Now, I want it in range of the vista, right? Um, and I want it in range also of the rare metals. And this actually looks like a pretty good location right about here. Now, it's, the vista counts if it's inside the dome, by the way. Um, but if I put it over here, 
then I can benefit from that vista from a second dome, uh, which could be could be very useful. Yeah, it really could be. Um, okay, well, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put down the dome right there. Now I'll need to call in some uh, polymers just, just to uh, just so we don't uh, run out of them for running batteries. So we need the dome. Uh, we're going to need uh, some living complexes and a farm if we can uh, research that in time. Research. Um, uh, hmm. Now, um, do we? I want to check in here on the uh, map. Okay, so we don't have any more anomalies to scan just yet. Okay. So the dome uh, needs to get uh, built. So we'll let that tick along. Uh, meanwhile, we'll let the, uh, the business here uh, do its thing. Uh, what we need is a transport as well, I think, would be good. Um, yeah, that might be good. Um, and maybe another uh, explorer might be good, but a, a transport fills an entire supply pod. Uh, did I bring a... Uh, I did bring a drone hub, so I should get a drone hub going as well. Uh, let's put the drone hub here. Bam. See, that could have ended the game. Uh, research cooperation. Okay, this is interesting. Um, okay, a uh, new deep space telescope will be launched to scan the cosmos from a point even further out than Mars. Uh, the company behind the telescope, Lambda Industries, has partnered with our sponsor to share the financial burden of the deep space launch. Our sponsor, not one to waste an opportunity to help out... Da -da 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 says the splitting of the launch bill will basically pay for a single supply pod they can fill with uh, cargo of our choosing. What do we pick? Well, 10 orbital probes. Hmm, that's actually tempting. Um, the thing about orbital probes is... Uh, well, uh, we have the... Uh, we don't have a lot of use for it later on. We do have some use for it, and we can reveal some anomalies and maybe some breakthroughs sooner. Um, and if we can get the deep scan tech, uh, where probes can deep scan, they could be useful. On the other hand, 15 machine parts and 15 electronics would be, uh, would be actually uh, uh, quite useful at this point as well. Uh, but a transport, that is, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's tempting. The, these are actually all good. Generally, the resources is the best one. But getting a transport, uh, that allows collecting resources without using the drones. So we're going to take the transport and we'll uh, drop the pod. Right. Uh, this also gets us five metals, uh, because when we uh, salvage, salvage it, we get five metals. Okay, now here, uh, what I want to do is, uh, let's just pause this while I mess about here. We got 24 metals out here. So if we take our transport, we can go and uh, grab uh, everything, and we can bring it back over here right so off it goes and then there's five metals there uh, we've got all of our resources in here for the uh, polymers and the metals now we just need the concrete um, we're making 10 per soul um, and we have 20 so take six souls with with this one extractor uh, 
that is maybe just a little bit slow. Uh, now we can speed this up. Uh, we can go in here and we can make a second concrete extractor here. We should be able to at least. Requires... No, we can't. I got it in the way. No, we can build one over here. Because we're going to need to exploit this one anyway. So we'll just put it over there. Right? Uh, and then... Because that's metals and two machine parts, right? And then we just grab a wire. Right? And we'll run a wire up like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And it's not quite done yet. Um, okay, so we'll get all that up. And that'll, that should double our uh, production of um, of the uh, um, concrete. Now, I'm thinking, well, this takes eight concrete. I don't know that that's the smartest thing to build. Um, yeah, maybe not. Um, actually, I think we probably do want to build one of those. No. No, this uh, generates 5 power. That's 10. For double the resources. Really? Double the resources. So, 4 concrete, 1 machine part. Uh, and uh, half for maintenance. 8 and 2 and 1 and 10. Um, huh. So there isn't really, and these take up uh, um, one third of the space. Huh. Well, why don't we just go ahead and put a couple of those over there. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, so we're at 30. This is uh, almost refueled, and it's, it's going to be on its way. Okay, now where's the anomaly? It's a science anomaly. Well, we'll explore that. Oh, incidentally, uh, putting the dome here instead of down here is also uh, good because it avoids the uh, cold terrain. Now, we could have, uh, uh, potentially, with a uh, basic dome. Um, yeah, we could have got a double vista instead of a single vista. But the cold would uh, increase the uh, power consumption quite a bit. I could still do that. Hmm... Because this isn't actually building yet, I could still do that. Yeah, actually, a double vista is going to be better. So we'll take that uh, construction and we'll move the basic dome here. We can, we can just link another dome uh, up to the... Uh, the rare metals uh, with a passage and then uh, yeah now it's cold terrain but the extra 20 uh, comfort means the birth rate will be better uh, and if we do it that way yeah bam okay yeah we'll do it that way uh, okay Okay, I think that's, uh, that's definitely the smarter uh, operation. Now here, we need one more fuel, and then we're launching. Uh, come on. Uh, there we go. Launch. 
Uh, okay, we have launched a rocket from Mars. Uh, okay. And then we're down here. We are scanning the anomaly. That should uh, get us Explorer AI. Uh, meanwhile, this is uh, collecting resources to build. And we've got uh, these uh, running. So they're generating 17 and a half power between them. Uh, we have Explorer AI that has doubled our research. We have decommissioned protocol. Now we can blow things up and we have found water. Um, okay, now let's just uh, take a boo here. Right, so we have, some, whoops. Uh, we have uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so uh, somewhere down along here, there's usually a breakthrough, uh, but it might be a deep anomaly. So we might need deep scanning before we can uh, find it. Okay, so we're only losing 11 power overnight at the moment. Um, okay, so uh, we're a, f a fair chunk of our way along. Uh, we're producing 26 concrete per sol now. So uh, this will get, uh, get up pretty quickly. Uh, I think maybe it might be smart to put a concrete depot right here. Um, just uh, simply because it's going to uh, allow for some stuff to, uh, to work maybe a little bit better. Um, okay, now there is something else that I want to do, uh, and that is get a ramp. And we'll make it as small as we can. Uh, and we'll go up from here to here. Excess rate waste rock 27. Okay. So as I want to be able to get up here. Um, and we'll want to get down here as well. But I'll worry about that ramp after. Uh, what I'm going to do though is we have this drone hub. I'm going to move this guy up here, right? Um, yeah, uh, that does seem like it's probably a, a useful thing to do. Uh, then we'll get this ramp done, and that gives us more stuff that we can, uh, we can operate, right? Uh, now, it's going to take a little while for our uh, rocket to get back to Earth. Uh, and that's, that's, of course, expected, right? Uh, yeah, uh, the dome here, uh, we just need uh, 22 more, 21 more concrete. Uh, we'll have that in plenty of time. Uh, and also, no, let's, uh, let's go in here. Um, what are, we're researching low G fungi. Subsurface heating is probably a good placeholder there. Uh, I'm hoping the farm tech is the... Uh, the next one down here. Uh, I should be so lucky. Uh, meanwhile, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to go in here and check to see if any polymers were revealed. Nope. Okay. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab a supply pod with uh, a few polymers. Uh, some of those and some more of those launch. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely don't want to run out of polymers because then the batteries will die, right? And I don't want to run out of machine parts either uh, because then uh, the extractors will die. Uh, oh, right. We can't have it paused and expect progress now, can we? Um, right. Oh, okay. We can also uh, look around here. Um, uh, we have 119 metals in here. Uh, where are they? Okay, well, we'll uh, grab our... Let's pause that. Uh, we'll grab our transport, we'll grab our thing here, and we'll do a collect all and bring it up here. There we go. Now we are collecting dust storm. 
a dust storm is about to come and um, yeah so we don't have to worry too much about the dust storm uh, just now uh, it's actually fairly conveniently timed because it should be done by the time our passenger rocket is getting back uh, that's the one thing that could derail the colonists on the surface by Sol 15 is if we have a dust storm but when the rocket comes back and we can't land them before Sol 15. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be the major thing that could, uh, that could derail things. Uh, right, okay, our supply pod is almost here. Um, we are collecting metals down here, okay. That should be several, uh, okay, we can land that guy. Good. Uh, right. Okay, salvage that. We have our ramp up to here. Okay. I'm also going to flatten everything in here. Uh, in a in this uh, area here just because it will be useful to have things uh, uh, to have a flat area here uh, here and here okay so that's going to have a bit of uh, excess uh, waste rock but uh, I think we should move this guy out of the uh, uh, construction area right okay uh, this this will give us some uh, building space for other things that's not going to run into issues um, right okay our dome is going up uh, and that is definitely good uh, so we'll have our basic dome up in, in plenty of time uh, so that's that's good uh, our, our rocket's two-thirds of the way back to Earth. Um, so I, I think next episode is going to be when we grab our passengers and bring them back. Uh, and that, uh, or bring them here, not back. We have an anomaly, which is a science one again. Where's the uh, explorer? Explorer goes here. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, that's going to finish uh, low-G fungi. And... Uh, Hopefully, that will uh, reveal uh, the farming tech. Because I really want farms rather than uh, trying to go for uh, hydroponics or something like that. Uh, just because uh, the farms have better yields. And, uh, you know, if we can grow wheat and... Uh, oh, we uh, constructed a dome. That's a milestone. We got low G and hygroscopic vaporators. Eh. Uh, okay, let's uh, take that out of there. Um, right, rockets and shuttles require less fuel. That's uh, that's a good one as a place. Whoops, no. Um, well, we'll go for our hygroscopic uh, vaporators. Uh, okay. Um, now that should uh this anomaly should finish that uh and then we'll see what we've got 1250 hygroscopic um water reclamation really uh okay well let's just chuck that in there um, yeah. Okay, so we've got the dome here. Uh, what we need to build, um, is, uh, we need to go in here and homes. We're going to need a living complex, which we're going to put here. Uh, right. And we're going to need a service wedge. So that's going to need, well, we're going to need a, uh, we're going to need an infirmary that reduces the birth, uh, uh, or the, yeah, the birth uh, comfort threshold. 
We're going to need a diner. And we're going to need a grocer. Yeah, okay. So with the uh, two vistas, uh, that should uh, that should keep our dome comfort up around 75 or so easily, probably 80. And uh, the uh, infirmary will drop the birth threshold to 55 from 70, uh, which should mean that we get a pretty good birth rate initially. And that's what we're going to need. Uh, now, I've, uh, I've left the rest of this open uh, because uh, I'm going to need at least a farm wedge. And I'm going to need at least one more uh, living complex. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, consider that. I'll put another dome up over here, uh, ultimately, uh, which will uh, allow mining the uh, rare metals, unless we get autonomous extractors. Uh, if we get those uh, on a breakthrough, then uh, everything will be uh, pretty... Uh, pretty nice. Um, okay. Yeah. So we're uh, we're accumulating concrete at a good rate. Um, this uh, is uh, not uh, progressing. Uh, do I have to have it up here so it can reach it? Um... Maybe. Uh, okay. So, oh, 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 that's going to be bad. Uh, okay, well, let's see if we can cheese this. Uh, no, okay. Uh, you can go there. Uh, okay, now. Uh, can we cheese this? Uh, dumping site. Let's put some there. Uh, can we fit anything in here? Can a small dumping site fit in there? No. Oh, we can fit one here. Um, okay. Uh, large dumping site. We can, can we fit one in here? Uh, no. Will a small one do it? Okay, well, that is a lot less bad than it could have been. Uh, so what I did, uh, waste rock uh, storage sites uh, will uh, basically uh, eliminate a uh, dust devil. Uh, so... Um, I'm going to have to bring this guy down here. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so the uh, everything needs to get fixed, right? Um, but it's better that happens. Okay, the rocket has made it to Earth. Um, so it's better that happens now than uh, uh, when we've got... Um, uh, than, than when we've got all of this stuff here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the fuel refineries. And we've got a water tower here. Um, I think maybe we should put another couple of water towers up. And we need to get a couple of moxie, get a moxie or two operating. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, moxie over here. No, I'm not going to put it over there. I'm going to put it over here. No. I'm not. I'm going to put the moxie uh, right here. Okay. And I'm going to put a water tower or two right there. And I'm going to put an oxygen tank. Uh, 
I'm gonna put the put an oxygen tank over this this area too. Um, well, I could put one here, and I could put one here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll do that, and then we can grab a pipe and run it straight out this way this way and then like that okay so we'll build that um okay uh now uh, keeping in mind that we've got a uh, dust storm coming and um, a meteor storm. Oh, that could end the game. Uh, it, depending what gets hit, that could end the game. Um, right. Okay. Now, okay, now I can bring this guy back over here. Okay. Um, now, we need to definitely get our rocket from Earth, uh, so uh, that's going to be a critical thing. Um, and then once we, uh, once we get that, uh, we'll be able to uh, bring a, uh, bring our passenger bring our colonists in and then uh, see what happens from there uh, anyway uh, that's going to be all for this time and hopefully I don't uh, make a complete hash of things before uh, you know before we get our colonists in here um, but yeah uh, next time around we'll be uh, loading up the passenger rocket bringing it in uh, landing it uh, you know getting some stuff going uh, hopefully getting some more uh, useful things happening. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that business. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Uh, or you can dislike if you prefer. It's still an option. And the bell, if you turn that on, you may get some notifications of new videos. Or you may not. And, or maybe you don't want to do that. And it's all entirely up to you. Anyway, that's all for this time. So see you back next time.